we're here. We're back. I'm making sure I'm not punching anybody when I hit the record button. <laughs> if you're new to town or just new to this whole Okay, we just checked the email, so he's at the uh He's at the the hospital. Yeah, it's very cold outside, so I'm below freezing. Negative seven. Now we're going to the hospital, getting two missions out of the way at once. Going back downstairs. Now I could jump to the main storyline, but it's best to uh, get these extra experience points for uh, abilities. Oh, he unlocked it already. Come on. Now let's say uh, get him out of the way. Zip. Up. His body is right there. He would not be there. Got to use blood buff. Yep. Enter. Take the silver ring. Go take it. Take it. Exit. And we got that out of the way. Hello. Oh, sorry, that's where he's at. Just Who are you, Bunsen Burner? What are you doing back here? I think you want the clinic upstairs. Are you sure you're supposed to be here? Just Bunsen burner. <laughs> yeah, that's the feet on him for a bit. Okay, I don't have the uh, the charisma points to uh, get the key for, to get the passcode, so I'm going to have to use the good old computer. Where is the computer at? So that's where he's at. That's the exit. There it is. Freezers. Number oh, yeah. Where have my eyes gone to? Passcode nineteen sixty nine. Yeah, it would not work unless if you get the points, it's block off. Alright, I think it's the first. Okay, come on, open up. Open up. Move these out of the way. Sixty-nine. And here we go. Hunger. I need it. A drop of it on my tongue, sliding down my throat. The hot flash in my brain, lighting up my body. I can smell it everywhere. Blood. Mm. Let me go. It's painful. Like I'm going to die. It's calling. Never felt like this before. Let me go. I can smell it. I have to have it. I will free you, little flower. Huh? You don't look well at all. Oh, oh sweet mother of God! And there's Phil.
I saw nothing. The heat. Mm, it's never been so satisfying. All of it. I drank until I heard his heart stop, and I was sucking on a dry, dead artery. It was euphoric. But I've... I've killed him. I've never killed anyone before. What happened? What came over me? What just happened? It's not who I am. I've never done anything like that before. I'm not a monster. I tried to steal some blood. I heard they sold it. I was hungry, and I can't hunt in town. They caught me, and I was strapped, trapped. Thought I'd never escape, but I killed a man. I have to get out of here. Flower? My name's Lily, if that's what you mean. E? You know E? I... How do you know E? I tried to tell E about his condition, but he was so furious at me for what I'd made him into, he wouldn't listen. A thin blood, from what I've been told, is a vampire whose blood is weaker than most. Rolf, my sire, told me some vampires consider thin bloods a bad omen and want them destroyed. Rolf wasn't a thin blood. And apparently I am. I don't know why. Rolf abandoned me. His group wouldn't take me in. They said I was a liability. He left me with so many questions. And I did the same thing to E. But I didn't want to leave E. He forced me out of his life. I... I should go. I have to get out of here. Maybe out of the city. Soon. E doesn't hate me anymore? I'll go see him. Thank you. Oh, about tonight, what I did? Please, don't tell E. It's not my fault. I couldn't control it. I've never done anything like this before. I'm no killer. Goodbye. Now we get to deal with this guy. to go and let that bitch out? There's one less fill in the world now. Might you have to let her go and eat him, huh? No, I'll never get to do in that bastard myself. Well, you know what? No blood for you. No more. You want to have a laugh? Maggots love you. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> That's why my cavians are so fun. <laughs> what were we laughing about? The blood you were about to sell me. <laughs> now, I could... I got eight points. Let's delete the bail bonds. Save this. Now let's deal with the Japanese uh, so-called vampire. They're not vampires. They're Cemetery something else. And at the door. Or Chinese, actually. Sorry. gonna get a little bit Cause this guy is going to be tough I normally have a strategy against him. Where are the 
boxy boxes. Boxy. <sighs> I'm actually going to do death. Vision of death. I do here. I go here because I'm normally protected. Now I just wait for him. He can't hit me with. Me. Well, he can hit me from back there. of a fight. Oh yeah, there's a, some police officers though dying at the beach. So let's like, get to the beach. This life's been hard on him, both of us, but he forgives me. We're leaving soon. I have some family with a place out in the middle of nowhere in Oregon. It should be okay for us to stay out there, as long as we're together. Thank you. I'm so glad we're together. Okay. And now we are Easy. reported Easy. to eat. No one. You brought my lily back. Bubble. She told me all about what happened. I don't know why you helped us, but your blood's worth bottling. I'll never let her go again. Thank you. We're going to be getting out of LA soon. Too dangerous here. Rosa told us something big's about to happen, and I don't want to be here when the jack comes out of the box. Take that for what you will. Yeah, I'm gone. Thin blood. Looks thick enough to me. Okay, where is he? <sighs> Tragedy. Do you have any of those items you mentioned? Use the rubber thing. Oh, okay. I guess. Here. That's some blood from the. Uh, I'll buy as much as you've got. I think I have enough for the procedure now. Thanks for the blood. And here's a steak. Yeah. Here you go. Uh, now where can I find the head vampire? He's lacrosse! You won't have to live like this anymore. I'm going to kill the head vampire. I'm sorry. Maybe, you know, I don't have to do this quest. If he takes the lacrosse, I don't have to deal with this, uh... Yeah, I don't have to deal with the, uh... With the warehouse if he takes that lacrosse. <laughs> okay, there are the officers for the guy.
He has strong blood, actually. He filled me up. Okay, now I've done everything I could at the beach for now. We got one more quest down here later, once we reach Hollywood. Now we go to the asylum. Man, it's pretty easy so far. I got 11 points. And we're about to do the haunted house. Oh yeah, I need to talk to uh, the golden ghoul Knox anyone smoke anymore? not interested yo girl you do that thing yet? right on girl yeah hey I'm sorry again for what happened before I still haven't heard anything from Bertram but you know, I'll let him know about how good you did and about how you were cool about everything in it. Yeah, oh, man. Bertram said it's like a vampire. Different, you know? It's like what they have in China instead of vampires. He said lots of them would be coming to California for some reason. I don't know. As a matter of fact, I can. Go see my man Trip at the pawn shop. He won't sell to just anyone but tell him you know Knox and he'll set you right up. I, I don't need to buy boom boom sticks. I am a ninja. Oh. What can I get you, beautiful? Jamis? What the hell are you talking about? Damn, I know I always get the weird ones. Huh? Look, the only sisters around here are Teresa and Jeanette. They own the place. They're both upstairs fighting as usual. Why do you need to see them? Now, if you're a male, you can actually say you're here for the new bartender job, and he's not very happy about it. Your city? Last time I looked, it was called Santa Monica. Not stuck up this. So vulgar. <laughs> look at you sometimes. Oh, Therese, you really do paint a flattering portrait of me with your turn of the century barb. I always assumed you could do nothing but this down. Just the sight of you. The sight of that wicked, painted house, concealing that dirty, diseased mind. Sin! You have no sin. <laughs> Let's see who is without sin past the fierce tone. Go ahead and mock me. You pull your pranks, make fun of my ways. It's too easy. You're just wonderful. Don't you call me that. Did I start calling a duck a pig again? I'm your sister. How can you treat me like this? That's it, you know. Run away from the truth. I'll take care of everything, as always. Tongue. 
Please, come in. I do apologize for my sister's crassness if it made you uncomfortable. She's unabashedly scandalous, but in the club business, I suppose that kind of personality is a necessary evil. Therese Vorman, yes. I'm the proprietor of this club, and the only person in this city whose good side it's in your best interest to stay on. What brings you to Santa Monica? Tongue's exile is self-imposed, I assure you. But then, what reason would I have not to hate that loathsome Nosferatu scoundrel? Bloody Nosferatu. They're so... unclean. Hmm. I'd be willing to put the word out that my grievances with Tongue have been swept under the rug. But in return, you'll have to help me remove a particularly burdensome spirit from a property I'm looking to invest in. Oh, I forgot. You're still new to this. Allow me to break you in. Yes, ghosts exist. Werewolves, mummies, and I'd expect a whole lot of other things I've never seen share the night with us. Rumor is that a personal item of a ghost may be used to draw it out or excise it from its haunt. While I don't put a lot of stock in hearsay, it's my last option. So I want you to go to the Ocean House Hotel, find an item of the spirits, and bring it back. Oh, I fully intend to do so. You'll find that dealing with me on the whole is appreciably more predictable than dealing with some of the egomaniacs that are my peers. So long as our business doesn't go sour, my word is gold. Before I forget, take this. The only way to reach the Ocean House this time of night is through a tunnel in the sewers. You'll need that key to open the gate for that tunnel. If you'll excuse me, I've got situations to set straight. And I'm off to the house. Back to the sewers. Oops, come on, open up. Okay, now we're going to do what everybody considers the most scariest part of the game. Of course, as soon as I find a sewer hole, I can become a ninja turtle. If you're a Nosferatu, you're going to have to master the sewer systems. This is all you're going to be seeing. stuck here. Now obviously I'm going to be haunted by this ghost. He tried to ram me. Okay. Let's see if 
never beat it. And I follow her. to the, uh, the laundry room. I remember where it's exactly at. That's the boiler. Oh, there it is. Come on. In, Lucy. Yep. We take the key. Chased around by her husband. Wrong way. Yeah, I need one of those Zelda maps. <laughs> there we go. This is going to be a hard thing to sell. <laughs> you can actually see his feet if you duck. Okay, I'm going to save it here because there's no guarantee you're going to make this, make it out alive. I need more rats in the grave. See what I mean? I'm already taking damage. And I barely made it. What's other save? Ah. The elevators there somewhere. Where the hell is the elevator at? an old woman the phone is going to miss me picture nope that picture is going to go out I tried the other body found took the item. Yeah, I hit take. Save it again.
pretty low on health. That's the elevator. Uh, fix my mouser. Can you the ghost of the past? Murder suicide. Make this other save. I'm actually doing pretty good, actually. Come on. I hope I haven't turned myself around. Now, this is easy. You just go forward and do that. Save it again. Item. Let's raise our dodge. Okay. That's a blood heal. Stop doing that, mother. One more should do it. Because this is going to be a... Uh, an interesting run coming up.
I just noticed something. My keyboard doesn't have the. Uh, Let's save it. Let's check something. Uh, how do you turn powers off? F8. <laughs> that doesn't do anything. I said I don't have a norm a normal keyboard. Do I just run back? Just waste it. Save it. Character or exit options. Where is the weapon? Where is disciplines off? I'm going to have to change some of these. Weapon thrown. Where is We'll just turn this to eight. Eight, come on. Eight. One. I can't do F eight. How about L? Uh, I'm going to use O for off. Get down there. All right. Oh, come on. Uh, I don't want to. Is it really that hard? This is me. I know she's not Mario.
And there we go. Let's get that. Let's get out of here. Come on, jump over the thing. And out we go. Go back to the asylum. And then we're gonna run into Jeanette. She's gonna try to pawn the uh, the thing off of us, but we get extra points by keeping it. I see you. And there's Jeanette. Look at those. It's doing great. She even is very cheeky. How odd. I was just having naughty thoughts about you. You made quite an impression earlier. Did you come up just to cheer lonely little me? Really? Do I often pogo stick through your thoughts wearing nothing but a smile? Be honest. Or don't. Therese is out making a show of how well her lips fit on the pants seat of the Camarilla. Did you happen to find her chastity belt or something? So, Therese told me you might be back with something for her. Do you have it with you? I'm not just some silly doll, you know. All my life, yep, my she sister's tries, making out uh, to be a joke. She told you I was an embarrassment, up. didn't she? That I couldn't tie my shoes, let alone hold on to something for her. Is that it? She's always belittling me. She's the smart one. She's the favorite. She's the successful one. Well, it's not fair. I'm not a fool. This club's success is just as much my doing as it is hers. Do you understand what it's like to have your own flesh and blood ripping you apart on a daily basis for two lifetimes? Can you? Fine, you hold on to it. Hmm, since you are so willing to brave that big spooky place for my darling sister, how about doing a teensy tiny favor for little troubled me? Do 
you know Gallery Noir down the street? I happen to know there's a charity event being organized there. Lots of influential Santa Monicans slithering in for token appearances. But there's one thing they don't know. The whole event's been set up by a kindred trying to establish their own power click in our city. And we can't let that happen, can we? So I need some brilliant young upstart to spoil the milk. <laughs> I promise this won't take long. Take this knife. Give the paintings in the gallery a good slashing. Don't get caught, and don't turn it into a massacre. And steal the charity box, would you? Buy yourself something velvet. I'm sure Therese will be thrilled to honor your agreement when you get back. But in the meantime, get to the museum and ruin those paintings. Then pay me a visit. I want to hear all about it. Hurry up. I can only amuse myself for so long. Oh, and there was something about the paintings. Hmm, what was it? I can't remember. Oh well, have fun, Duckling. Take a look. Yeah. The ice. Okay, now we go down. Weapons are not allowed. Hey, hold on a minute there. I'm afraid you are committing a 351. That's trespassing on private property. I'm gonna have to ask that you vacate the premises immediately, or I'm afraid I'll be forced to radio this in. Why not? No, it can't be. I'm useless. I'm completely useless. Yep. Now, he's coming around. Take the keys. Snake. <laughs> Just give him a little bit. <sighs> Got inside without killing anybody. Humanity. I still got plenty of humanity. Okay, let's save this. Okay. If I remember, Cain slays Abel. Curse my God. Kane meets Lila and the final part. And 
blood magic. Okay. Let's use this. Let's use our new sword. Vision of death. Vision of death. Get out of my head. And I guess we'll keep it as is. And we'll save it. Ocean House, though. Look how awesome I was. Okay. Let's add a bit more to melee. We we're good with the attacks. Strength should get a few more. We'll be good with that. Trust me. Wow. Feed on him. Ah. She's the wheeze. What does a vampire have to do to get a meal? Okay, we're gonna get a, 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 an ear for You, what were you thinking? Uh, about? The museum. That was my event! Did you think I wouldn't find out? Shut up. I thought I could control my sister as long as Tongue was out of the picture, but nothing's changed. I should have expected that you'd succumb to Jeanette's influence like all the others, but how dare you! I don't know. Don't lie to me! Jeanette already confessed she tricked you into doing it. It was probably all Tongue's idea. I'll deal with them later. But that's still no excuse for you ruining my museum. Excellent. I'll take that. However, Jeanette claimed you did it for her. But let's say I believe you. After all, you've acted decently and rationally up to now. I imagine you'd still like me to call off the feud. There's only one problem. If Tongue gets word that I threatened Jeanette, which he most certainly already has, it's not likely he'll believe me. So, in order to call off the feud, you're going to have to convince Jeanette to forgive me first. I made some threats against my sister. Idle threats, involving fire and her impious satin sheets. She took them quite seriously, and is avoiding me. 
I want to meet with her and explain that they were said in the heat of the moment. I asked her to meet me at the Surfside Diner to reconcile, but I'm busy with the club and my other endeavors. I'd like you to go to the diner and promise her that I don't plan to take any action against her. Wait for her in the back booth, near the phones. I want to see my sister. Yes, I'll call it off once I've spoken with her myself. Just do what I ask. <laughs> They're coming. Uh. Okay, pers what level is my persuasion at? Four? They removed the uh We don't use guns. And okay. I'll take care of one of you. Two of you. use guns anyway. Stay out of this! To think anyone would risk their life for this filthy, tainted waste of blood! This will just make it easier to kill both of you. Help! Save me and I'll help you find Bertram! I swear! Shut up, Jeanette! I warned you to stay away from Tongue. He's turned you against me! 
I always looked out for you, but you couldn't stand my success. You had to meddle, didn't you? I didn't want it to end like this, but you forced me! I wasn't sticking my fingers in anyone's pie, dear sister. Of course you weren't. Just like you weren't working with him. Is it any different than the way you treated father? Father? Oh, Therese. Where have you my eyes gone to? I treated father exactly the way he deserved to be treated. And he treated you like a... You don't say a word about father. Your heart still belongs to daddy after all these years, eh, sister? At least he loved me. You take that back, you bitch! You never gave me any credit for anything, Therese. I was the one calling the shots. Bertram was dancing on my leash. How does it feel to know that I beat you? Isn't it obvious? I'm about to rid the night of this deviant, backstabbing whore! Do you realize that despite her condition, she still fornicates with kind, no less? So despicable. So unclean! You're one to talk, dear sister. Or should I say daddy's little girl? Do you want to know just how depraved the Baron of Santa Monica can be? Shut up, Jeanette. You'd love the world to think you're a saint. When you thought I was asleep, I used to hear Father come in at night. I heard him whisper how much he loved you in your ear before he... Don't finish that sentence, or you're dead! Had his way with you, and he didn't have to force you. You went limp and became his plaything. Do you think I didn't hear it? Night after night? Always the obedient daughter until... Shut up! Just shut up! <clears throat> Would you like to tell the story? <laughs> she makes herself out to be the virgin queen of the night, pious as a nun, stable as the Earth's orbit. But it's all an act, isn't it? I'm the good girl. You're the wicked one. You've done nothing but plot against me when I had our best interests at heart. And despite that, I've always covered up your mistakes. I've taken care of you. And this is how you repay me? Taken care of me. You've done nothing but keep me down. Blame me for every mistake. Did you expect me to let you rule my life until the end of time? No, sister. You've had it coming since our last sunrise. Is that right, dear? If it wasn't for me, you would have never survived this long. Remember? They tried to separate us, but I refused. I chose this life and brought you into it so that we could stay together. Obviously, you've forgotten. She's a control freak. People, things, emotions. If she can't control something, she gets rid of it. And you're a wild animal. You'll rub up against anything that'll take you in for the night. Then when you're stuffed and bored, you bite the hand that fed you. Therese will never let you live. You've disappointed her. I used you, yes, but I didn't try to have you killed. Therese has no problem with killing, do you? Remember father? Father loved me. I was a good girl. I always did what I was told. You always hated that he loved me. You disobeyed him. You brought men home when he wasn't there. You were an awful daughter to him. Father came home drunk one day and mistook me for Therese. Because I'd fallen asleep in her bed. Don't listen to her. She's lying. Therese walked in while he was there, and she saw me lying with him, and so she went to the closet and pulled out his hunting shotgun, loaded it with deer shot, and blew his mind out all over the silly clown wallpaper. That's a lie. Father killed himself because of Jeanette. She made him miserable. As I recall, he died with a smile on his face. The police sure did. They broke us up for a little while, remember? The first thing you did after your escape was find me. Enough! Don't say another word about that. So, sweet sister, is this how it has to end? I admit, I always knew this night might come. Well, any message you want me to give father? An apology? A love letter? I don't think I had to die enough. I killed her. I didn't want her to go. I only wanted her to change. You understand, don't you? Poor, poor Therese. I wanted to find Bertram. He's at the old gas station in an empty oil tank. He'll help you because I'll ask him to. 
but you must keep your tongue tied tight about what happened this night. Understand? Don't hesitate to come see me once in a while. I'm going to be so lonely without Therese. I mean, I may need someone like you sometime. And I do get bored so easily. Maybe you could come by and cheer me up sometime. Okay. Now let's go see a Bertram tongue. Oh, come on. Oh, right, I forgot. That's such a confusion. Uh, I'm going to get the uh, the warehouse out of the way. Should not take long. Souls draped in rotten tatters and fall. In the dark, look who finally made it. Thought you'd never find me, did you, sweetheart? I've gotten good at knowing when I'm wanted. Ah, oh, so you're who I'm waiting on. Hmm. Someone must have faith in you, Cupcake. That, or they want you out of the picture. <laughs> Interesting choice either way. Nasty. Nasty dude? Hey, I may not be a looker, kid, but you better start showing some respect, because I could squash you like a freaking bug if my panties get all bunched up. You got it? Aw, oh, shit, I'm Alcavian. And you ran into Knox, too? You guys must have had quite a conversation. Not a working brain cell between the two of you. <laughs> oh, well. The one and only. But don't bother with the introductions, fledgling. I know who you are. News travels down the Kindred Grapevine like wildfire. And that courtroom spat between LaCroix and Nines Rodriguez is a juicy little morsel. And you in the middle. <laughs> How interesting. Oh, you did, did you? Well, I wasn't worried. So why did you need to find me? What did you need? Hmm? Oh, never mind. The warehouse, though. I've been watching the place. The Sabbat has a bunch of low-life humans working day and night to move stuff through there. There's some major staging going on. The Sabbat... Jeez, you are green. It's like this. We're all monsters, like it or not. I'm not gonna say the Sabbat are the evil vampires, cause none of us are the good guys here. But the Sabbat... They glorify their monstrous nature. They refuse to hide it, and go out of their way to show it. They're also brainless and reckless. They have a life expectancy of a vampire fruit fly. As far as I can tell, the humans seem to know the score from the way they've been talking. I think most of them have aspirations of joining the next graduating class of shovel heads. Ugh, losers. Yeah, this is about like everyone to know just who they're dealing with. So if you get in there and have to bust a few heads, don't feel bad. Think of it as upholding the masquerade. Yes, I can. Just tell me when you're ready, and we'll leave. Once you're there, however, you're on your own. You'll have to get into the place and plant the explosives in the middle office to take the whole structure down. And we're going to get this one out of the way. I think I found an easier path. Just delete that.
but we're going to save a new file. The Warehouse. Now you get extra points if you don't kill anybody. Using the bathroom. Yo, what the fuck is going on here tonight? Foxes is all in everyone's face and shit. Didn't you hear? A new shipment came in, some pretty serious hardware. Yeah, I heard. But what the fuck? We get that kind of shit in here all the time. What's so different about tonight? I don't know. Marcus is tense as a motherfucker. Maybe he heard something. Like what? Like, I don't know, but keep your fucking eyes open. And someone better tell those clowns in the freight house to quit playing cards before Marcus comes out and starts peeling fucking caps. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. Okay. Wow, he has a, a crowbar. Hey, where you going, man? Let's save that. We need to get to that door. Off again. 
in, I'm gonna pull out your tongue and out your thick shit filled skulls. Now I gotta call my woman real quick. So keep your mouth shut, your eyes out, and your hands away from your pockets. Yo, baby. No late night. Not tonight. Hey, shut up and deal with it. I don't care. Yeah, you, you do that. You touch my bike, I'll break my foot up in your ass when I get home. You testing me? I don't care if the kid's in the room. I don't even know she's mine. Don't you raise your voice to me, woman. Listen, bitch. That's just the way it is. Deal with it. You do it, then see what happens. End of conversation. End of conversation! What was that? That means that means we never die. We get super strong. We can even fly and shit. Your handiwork, I presume? Ah, werewolf! <laughs> Not experienced much in the creatures of the night, are you? For future reference, you might keep in mind that werewolves aren't in the habit of introducing themselves. I hadn't planned on it. I see my reputation for once does not precede me. My name is Beckett. I haven't been following you per se. We've just coincidentally been at the same places at the same time, for different reasons. So sorry if I unnerved you. Tell me, have you by chance seen or felt anything strange since your embrace? I see A dead ghost. people. <laughs> Quite ordinary. I generally pay wraiths no mind. All but a few are willing to give up their secrets. Thin bloods. They're a fascination of mine. They are considered a weaker, more human-like kindred. Hence the name, Thin Blood. But they are sired same as any of us. I've heard a large concentration of them live in this city. They're one of the reasons I'm in Los Angeles. Something to look forward to, eh? Most of my contacts here report sensing something unusual in the night air. Like a sense of dread or pressure. But I'm not a native to these parts, so I can't tell if it's irregular. And since you're still fresh, perhaps you're not attuned to it. Pleasure meeting your acquaintance, but there are rumblings for me to discredit. We shall, I'm certain, meet again. Or never again. Good night, young one. And be careful. You're very likely being hunted by the Sabbat. Goodbye, wolf. And that was pretty easy. Delete that. Delete that. And we'll even delete that. And we'll save this. Nice work, Cupcake. I felt that explosion a mile away. It's all over the news, too. Man, there's gonna be some pissed off Sabat just howling for blood tonight. <laughs> Beckett. Well, I know of him. Why? No kidding. Huh. Must be something major happening if he's in town. Beckett is a historian of sorts. 
He's unearthed more vampire lore than anyone. Well, that's all Becca does. Seek the truth behind our condition. You better get back downtown. Prince LaCroix is going to want to hear all about this victory. And as you run, guess what you're going to run into? Yep, I'm being hunted by the Sabat. You can see him right there. The ship proved futile. Coast Guard officials are releasing very little information right now, but have identified the vessel as the Elizabeth Dane. No word as of yet as to the whereabouts of the crew, though the Coast Guard are asking any ships that had contact with the Elizabeth Dane to assist them in their search. We'll have more on this story as it breaks. A massive gelatinous creature that washed up on the beaches of Providence, Rhode Island, has scientists scratching their heads found by a jogger early on Tuesday morning who says he smelled it a mile away. The mystery creature is thought to be some form of giant octopus, though marine biologists that have examined the monster have commented that they have never seen anything like it in the cephalopod family before. They speculate that it could be from a yet undiscovered family of sea creatures. Several dead in a beach house in Santa Monica tonight. Police suspect the slangs were carried out during a drug deal gone bad. They suspect this may be the work of vampires and, hey, have you seen any vampires around here? <laughs> actor Ed Rivers is lucky to be alive after his car crashed into the gate at Parasite Studios earlier tonight. Witnesses say that they were shocked when the Negative Zero star emerged unscathed and apparently unfazed by his high-speed accident. Rivers' agent released a statement stating that Rivers' crash was due to a mechanical problem and that the studio is not pursuing legal action against Rivers for the trademark gate's destruction. Miraculously, this is the second crash Rivers has escaped unharmed in the last year. A massive explosion rocked Santa Monica tonight, sending several fireballs into the sky and prompting a lockdown of the warehouse district where the explosion took place. Early reports suggest that the warehouse destroyed in the explosion was being used in a weapon smuggling operation and that the source of the detonation possibly came from you. Stay tuned to Channel 3 for further updates. Art criticism or vandalism? Paintings on display at Santa Monica's Gallery Noir were slashed by an intruder who evaded capture by security. The paintings were estimated to be worth nearly a quarter of a million dollars. They were to be auctioned in a charity event tomorrow night. An update on the Elizabeth Dane. The ghost ship was towed into county waters off the port of L.A. They're already making the news. Got no eyeballs. Let's get to Hollywood and we'll call it the end of the video. some more stamina oh that's the meat knox got stuff to sell uh hey, hey. i mean trip uh, how's it going you uh, looking, looking at a bar or sell or Damn it, who told you that? Huh? What are you smoking? More importantly, where can I get some? Look, 
I can't have people talking about this, you know? I'm not exactly properly licensed, and these weapons aren't precisely legal. I do as you can. Look, now, I appreciate your business, and I'll sell to you, but don't tell anyone else, okay? Keep your nose clean. Well, all right. Come take a look, then. Okay, I'm going to sell the crowbar. I'm going to sell him the bat. I'm going to keep the knife. I don't need guns. I'm not a gun person. I'm a ninja. Sorry, I'm busy. Call Crime scene. Gonna have to ask you to step back, please. Ah, some lunatic broke into the gallery and slashed up the paintings. Everyone's a critic these days, huh? Uh, call it in. Come on, Buddha, stop barking. Talk. Where to? And we're going to downtown. Leave. There's three of us, Rodriguez. Yeah. <laughs> three of us. What are you gonna do? Shoot us? This ain't over. We'll find you. You too, Rodriguez. You're both dead. Nobody messes with the Sabbat and lives. Keep moving. Trouble sure seems to like you. Good effort. Execution needs a little work. You look like shit. Name's Nines. Same thing that happens to a lot of Anarchs, Malk. But you already know that somehow, don't you? Should have been more careful, newbie. This ain't the Burbs. Kid, I got things to deal with. Why don't you pay me a visit at the last round tonight? I don't know what you've heard so far, but it's time you heard the real story. This is a mean existence. Stay out of trouble, kid. And that's where we first meet Knives.
we got time to talk to LaCroix. We got 30 minutes of recording time. Cemetery runoff continuing at the door. You uh, look familiar, Missy. We haven't met before, have we? Oh, yeah, back in Santa Monica, right? Ooh, I don't know what came over me back there, but now I got this sweet night shift position, and I'm happier than the time I met Sipowitz. Ah, <laughs> well, enough about my lucky break. You uh, here to see one of the big wigs, Missy? Would that be Sebastian LaCroix of the LaCroix Foundation, or Dwayne LaCroix of Insurrection Baby Formula Company? Uh, okay then. Mr. LaCroix, he told me to expect someone fitting your description sometime tonight. You go right on up. Yeah, uh, you have a good power meeting, or, uh, whatever it is you types do up there. Do you need any security? Well, you just ring the front desk and ask for Officer Chunk. That's me. In case you were wondering. Ah, yeah, I, I get that all the time. The name goes back to my football days. Oh, uh, actually, uh, my fantasy football days uh, at the station. Stationarium. That was this office supply outlet mall I used to watch. Hey, you kids! No skating in the parking lot! <laughs> that was me. Yeah, I love Chunk. Officer Chuck. I'll try to spare him at the end of the game. Oh! Did my assassination attempt fail? Man. I'm shocked you even got all the way up here. There you are. I was informed of your presence in the building. Since you're here, I'll take the liberty of assuming you've destroyed the warehouse. This is correct, yes? Boom. Most excellent. I had no doubt you'd prove my decision a prudent one. I trust you encountered no impediments to your progress on account of my personnel. Yes, yes, I'm sure it was quite an experience. You've done well, circumstances being what they were. I will admit, not many in your position would have overcome such a trial. But don't misunderstand me. It was no fool's errand. You may yet prove to be a genuine asset. It's a bit disturbing the lack of talent within this organization as of late. Tell me, what would you say to doing a bit of reconnaissance for me? There have been whispers, rumors spreading around the kindred community concerning the Elizabeth Dane. The cargo ship that was towed into port recently. Have you heard of it? The police are investigating the Dane as we speak. Even the Nosferatu have little information on what's been found. However, the reason the ship has caused such speculation is because it was transporting an object called the Ankaran Sarcophagus. Now, I'm not one to predicate a decision based on conjecture, so what I need is fact. And more importantly, I need evidence that the occurrences on the Dane were not supernatural in nature, and in no way relate to this Ankaran sarcophagus. You have three objectives. One, I want you to examine the sarcophagus for anything unusual. You may sense something peculiar about the sarcophagus. In fact, many kindred in the city have reported an uneasiness in the air since the Dane's arrival. Do not, under any circumstances, open the Ankaran sarcophagus. Secondly, the police have begun their investigation. Find out what they have concluded thus far. Thirdly, take the cargo manifest for the ship. I want to find out what else it was carrying. The last thing we want is police aware of our existence. So be careful what you do in front of them. And unlike the warehouse, you cannot wholesale slaughter a ship full of lawmen without consequences. Is this understood? Good. Oh, and it has come to my attention that you had an encounter with Nines Rodriguez earlier. The man so does love to throw that cretinous charm of his brashly about. What exactly did Mr. Rodriguez say? I see. 
Then, you should go humor the by the numbers rhetoric he's so desperately aching to spew. Oh, please, before the chance of fascist oppressor from that dive of theirs clog the air and choke the local kine. Give the Anarch community my regards. Yeah, I'm going to call it a night. Got to save the game. Got to delete this first. Save you. Have a good day. As soon as I get to. Good day.